Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this, your Pisces December 2023 reading and forecast. Hi, I'm Nigel St. James Clairvoyant. Now this month we have an interesting deck. It's a great deck. Its theme is Sub-Saharan African and uh, a lot of the imagery is derived from cultures of West Africa. So I'm sure those with African heritage will have an emotional connection with it. But I think that you will have an emotional connection with it as well because it brings out it brings out the, the emotions that are here. And I suspect there's going to be some emotional transformation or thoughts going on with you this month. Anyway, well, let me not predict what have you. But speaking of prediction, you know that as a clairvoyant, over the course of the last month, I have done a number of one-on-one -on -one clairvoyant readings for people from different countries around the world over FaceTime and Skype. Now, I say they go for an hour, but, but look, they always all go for longer than that because I don't cut them short and we go through everything that needs to be done. But the, but the time is not wasted. It's valuable time that's being taken up dealing with issues and strategies and things that may need to happen, whether it's in your work or whether it's in your personal life or family life or what have you. You know the different things that come in. The gift uh, does what it does. Now, also over the course of the last month, I've done a number of healings as well. Now, information with respect to readings and healings at the end of the video, check them out in the description. But I'll say this with respect to, to them. Readings I have to charge for. Healings, however, are free. The spiritual gift was given to me on condition, it seems, that I have to use it and I must get nothing in return for it. So it's offered to you for free. No obligation, no catch. There won't be a recommendation from me that you get anything from me or anybody else. And also say this, that, you know, I've been doing this for over 40 years now, you know, oh, time flies. And I can tell you that I have read or otherwise dealt with healings with or otherwise dealt with people from every single walk of life, every job that there is, and there is nothing that I haven't seen or heard. So don't feel shy or embarrassed to contact me and don't feel shy or embarrassed to contact me thinking that we be taking up my time because I, I put time aside each day to do the healings, which means you don't have to wait for three months or something like that. So take advantage of it. If you feel, if you are moved to do it, but check out the information uh, in the description box about it. But now, and as the subscribers know, and great to see the subscribers, thank you for inviting me into your home each month. I love seeing you, truly I do. You know that we don't have any video ads breaking their way into this content, so you can enjoy the reading uh, direct without interference from anybody, anything else. So let's see what there is now and show me the magic. Let's see what there is here. The Chief. Looks like Grace Jones. If you're old enough to remember who Grace Jones was. Actually, Grace Jones was a um, it was a singer and actress, and, and I was at university many, many years ago with her. When he was a young guy, um, he, he uh, um, what's his name? The blonde-headed fellow that does all the action and uh, does all the action films. Oh, I'll come to me in a second. There's a two of gourds. Here we go, Mama Gourd. Mama Blade. Ah, very interesting. Two ladies to speak to you. And finally, there is, gee, Mama Coin. The three, or presumably the four, Mamas. It's a very, very lot of um, great energy coming around here. Let's see what they have to say. As is our usual practice, I'll bring the camera around. You come and sit here next to me. You and I can have a good close look at the imagery on these cards together. Well, I do the reading for you, and I remember the guy's name. It was with Grace Jones. <laughs> Just while I pick this energy up, do you know, sometimes I look at the very small tarot channels, and I saw one recently called Ministry of Tarot. And the lady doing the reading there, very different to me, of course, as you would expect. But she came, she seemed to me to be authentic. 
and that's rare. So Ministry of Tarot, if ever you're looking to check out another tarot site, maybe look at it after this video. Let's have a look here now. I've got this right. And this is what I said was Grace Jones. Oh, Dolph Lundgren. That was who I was thinking of. Dolph Lundgren was the guy. Yeah, we were at university together and he was working as a bouncer in the uh, one of the bars in the red light district in the city we grew up in, in Sydney, Australia. And well, he was there for a while and he caught up with Grace Jones afterwards. But here, let's look at this. It's not Grace Jones, of course. It's a depiction of somebody else. Now the chief's armor is adorned with large diamonds, isn't it? Representing divine guidance, love, and the strength to charge forward with any endeavor that they wish. Now you read this for yourself here. I'm describing the chief, but these things are applying to you. Now on each shoulder rests the intensely magnetic uh, energy of two women who balance the masculine with divine feminine wisdom, I would say. Now, a proper leader is not simply brash in their command. Empathy and sympathy are powerful tools and essential to, to, to the command of the chief. And they are also essential to the charisma and trust that a leader like the chief must build with their people. Now the fur of wild game that we can see there around the shoulders, I think that that not only provides warmth and protection, but it's also a reminder to stay grounded with gratitude for all that they have been blessed to acquire. Now I've got to say that this is a month where you will be very much interested, even primarily concerned with power or control over other people or over yourself. You will be seen as a natural leader and organizer, and you'll have willpower and, ju and, and good judgment as a result of your life experiences to date. There is also success here through discipline and the application of your skills. You will be a rational thinker. I do think that status is going to be important to you, as is material security and stability. And I think you might find that you could actually be quite volatile and fiery during this month, not necessarily passive whatsoever. There's very much an Aries quality that's going to come to you. That's the sign after you. It's almost as if you're looking ahead into Aries because there's a pioneering sense to you, a discoverer, an initiator. Great leadership qualities again. New beginnings. I also see uh, fatherhood around here or motherhood as the case may be, but certainly I think you will be interested in imposing order, structure, and you will be an ambitious and taking a stand and you'll be firm with yourself and other people. Now, it may well be that somebody here gets promoted to a senior role is what I see. Now, a ruler with the qualities of humility and submission to the cosmic law, as well as dynamism and power, well, they can develop a deep understanding and a constant recollection of the will of the whole that's necessary to take into account. Now, a ruler with these qualities, which could be you, is filled with a tremendous compassion, which will allow you to sacrifice the self sometimes for the good of the whole. I think that this is a really good time for you pushing into the new year. A new time, a great moment for change and for bringing about new beginnings. So trust your own energy and move with it. Now, what revitalization does your life need? And are there steps you would like to take towards this? Examine yourself critically, especially in regard to your relations with people up and down the line of command, if I could put it that, that way, and say this. I enjoy bringing about new projects. I value and honor my leadership ability. I am a responsible person. I trust my power. I rule by serving. I serve by ruling. Now, before we get to all those 
these faces that are down here, which are going to talk to me. I'm looking at their eyes as I'm going through this and seeing what messages they're giving me. Let me also deal with this card that's on this horizontal. Now, actually, this is an interesting painting. Let me see what I can take from this. Well, here are two gourds, obviously, which are things that are for holding water. And you see that they are imbalanced. But look here, there are two hands, arms, coming down from what you might expect it to be heaven, the spirit world, is how I see it. And it's pouring water into here on top of this person's head. And water's going, so it's going backwards and forwards. There's a communion backwards and forwards that's there. Now this is talking about two souls being together, two, about a communion, a, 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 a joint, a union between two people or between the divine and the human. The water then also then spills down and blesses the person and the earth around it. This pearl which is here has always around the world been seen as a symbol of, of purity, of love, of affection, and of... Uh, yeah, and used in jewellery, obviously, as well. Now, what I see as the astrology here is actually in this position with these other cards around it, really good for you because it's Venus in the first decan of Cancer. That's the 21st of June to the 1st of July. Well, that really highlights the benefit of you having drawn this card here because Venus is the most receptive of the planets. It's the planet of love, of beauty, of relationship. It's also the planet of money, you know. And Cancer, Venus has come into Cancer. Well, Cancer is, well, it's nurturing, it's comfort, it's support. Cancer is like, I can liken it to a, a female's womb in which a seed is fertilized and it then grows and allows something to grow, to nurture, to grow. So that's a tremendous, complementary energies that are going on there. Now, as a result of that, there will be receptive love here for you, happy relationships, a very deep emotional exchange, I think, close bonds, togetherness, harmony, and a relationship that is strengthening, and in particular, a mutual love and respect. Now, you do understand, I hope, that if you love yourself, you are attractive to others. Your receptiveness towards yourself prepares you to give yourself totally to someone else. Now then, a deep emotional exchange will be possible, a giving and receiving of overflowing love. And this union is going to occur in complete harmony, as is symbolized by these two gourds that are here. These things are filled and they overflow, symbolize the overflowing emotional riches present. This is an image of complete joy and silent ecstasy. Now, the other thing, of course, about the benefit of Venus being in Cancer is that Cancer is the house of the moon and, and Jupiter is exalted in Cancer. So, Jupiter is a great benefic. It, 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 it brings prosperity. It brings expansion. It brings happiness with it. So the planetary alignments here and the signs, they are they're just perfect for you. I do get the feeling of a hearing of a marriage around here. Certainly you could also engage in a very close friendship. There is here, I think, a love which is both special and equal where you can give and receive love in equal measure. Now with which persons and in which surroundings can you now share your love? Pay attention to the love coming to you now. Remain open and let it enter you and go deep inside. Now there is nothing to do but enjoy what life offers and say to yourself, I am now ready to let into my life the love relationships which will fulfill me. Now, uh, let's have a look at some of these faces that are here and see who is doing what. Are you? Or are you? Who's talking? Are you talking? Maybe you've got something to say right now. You have got something of a look about you. 
that says you mean business. Why is that so? Well, I see a lot of Libra around here. They're going to be important to you, as is Virgo. Now, the, the association of this woman to, with Libra connects her to that sign, obviously, and about adjusting things, you know, making necessary changes to make things go in your life. Now, this is all about making clear decisions based on fact and fairness, which is pretty well how she operates, I think. But you will, I think, be graceful, very perceptive, a keen observer, a subtle interpreter, an intense individualist, and confident and gracious. You will be cutting through old masks at this time and old roles, and you'll be using your mind rather than your heart to think about things. Now, setting aside your masks, renouncing the security offered by playing familiar roles, means the voluntary giving up of habitual defense mechanisms. But by using your insight, you come to recognize that the masks you wear not only protect and camouflage, but they also separate you from yourself and from others. And the energetic cutting through of your masks liberates you. And she is going to lead you into clarity and openness. Now she's saying to me that you must use your intellect to make an unbiased decision about a situation. Compassion and empathy may distract you, so you must go with your head and not with your heart. It isn't a time to beat around the bush about a situation. It is a time to decide and act. Cutting through old masks uh, is something that's on the agenda, I think, for you. So have the courage of your convictions and move forward. Look, I think that you're in the process of separating yourself more and more from old roles and behavior patterns at this time of year. Now, this could bring painful experiences with it, but it's worth it. The clarity you gain will free you. Now, which of the roles you most easily and most often hide behind. Are you ready to drop them? Observe yourself in different roles. Some of them you'll continue to play, but now with more awareness, and you will play them until you no longer identify yourself with them. But I think you deserve at this time to say that my only duty in life is to remain true to myself. Now, it's very interesting, I think, that that, that energy there about a situation, using your intellect there, that doesn't mean to say that you cannot remain or be emotional at the same time. And what I'm getting from this woman's eyes, tell me what... Well, first of all, they say that Cancer and Gemini are likely to be important to you. Look, I think that what's happening with this per you may well find that you are very much affected by events or people around you at this time of year. And you can get swayed by them. Now, as, you, as your mother always told you, you are judged by the company that you keep. So... It's important, I think, that uh, certainly for this time, that you get rid of any negative people that are around you, in particular, people that are needy, people bringing you down, people that are uh, just annoying you, who are downers. Because I think you'll be, you'll be quite intuitive as well. You are going to absorb the energy from other people. You'll be, you, you'll be very impressionable. Now, I think you'll see yourself in other people and also see through other people and reflect that back to them is what I'm getting here. But there's a danger with that, that you become, that you become like the, the, um, the pipe and, 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 it, and everything flows through you rather than you doing it. You, look, your emotions are going to be shown openly and you'll have a great degree of emotional integrity. And some people might think that you are shrouded in mystery in some respect. 
Well, I do say this, that the people that are around you may not always understand you, but that is not a problem for you because I don't think you should compromise emotionally because in order to do so, you would have to deny yourself and you might lose the glow of your beauty in doing so. You will be intuitive, emotionally mature, I think, and you're going to be get, able to get on very well with your friends and in a deep way. You could also be quite meditative, I think, but you'll be practical and communicate your feelings and realizations quite openly. And there is a need for you to get in touch with your inner feelings and to be able to express them to others. And there is also a need to develop intuitively, emotionally, and to relate to others emotionally, but just be aware of not absorbing bad influence, bad energy from other people. Now, it's not to say that other people aren't going to have bad energy, just make sure you've got like a mirror that you're, that you're encased in a mirror so that what comes from the outside comes straight back out. You can put things out, but you reflect back those things which are coming into you. Now, this, this may be you. It's just that I'm getting this vibe that's coming through here that, um, that you could have been in a relationship which ruined you either financially or emotionally. We've been attracted to the wrong person and you've taken on their energy and that has had a disastrous effect upon you. You could be carrying scars from that time, which could be impeding some of the purity that is within you. But understand this, that by showing your feelings openly, you become beautiful. There may be people who don't understand you. Well, don't concern yourself about them because there are enough others with whom you can share your feelings. Now, are you open to your emotions and feelings? Trust your feelings and live in harmony with them and say to yourself, my openness and vitality makes me beautiful. Now we turn finally to this woman here. And what have you got to say to me? I mean, look into your eyes and just Tell me through your eyes what's going on. Well, the first thing I have to say is I'm getting a big pulse of Capricorn and a big pulse of Sagittarius around here. Now, you are nevertheless during the period going to be ambitious, but we've seen this from that chief card here. You're going to be affectionate and kind and very charming. You're going to be very attractive to other people. Now that can sometimes be a curse and what could happen is that you may have found that you have attracted so I think you are very attractive and you 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 may have found that you have attracted a lot of idiots over over the time I think but this is a time for you to be ambitious yes but work with instinct and intuition rather than with experimenting with new ideas to stick with what works just for the time being. She is talking to me about prosperity and success here, but you must find time to create some nurturing time for yourself that's here. You will be very nurturing of other people, but what this is also saying is that, do you know, you might have the quieter qualities of you during this period, but nevertheless, in a kind of a subtle and a quiet way, you might find that you are very lusty and almost predatory sexually during this time. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And you could also find that you do enjoy drinking as well. But there's a fruitfulness here. I very much get the sense here that this is a time when you start to overcome what might to you appear to have been something of a dry patch or a barren past. So you must keep practical, compassionate, and have a nurturing attitude to others and your own circumstances and go with the flow. Go forward quietly without an overt attack on existing situations. I do have to say, I'm getting this real sense of health and diet here as well. So just have a look at yourself and do an audit on what it is that you're doing. Are you overeating too much? Get some exercise is what she's saying. Look after your body. 
big thing coming through here about the body. Now, I think you have passed through an arid stretch on your journey, but now you're arriving in more fruitful surroundings. Now you can rest and devote some attention to yourself and to your physical needs. Now, in what ways have you neglected your body, your outer self? Do you indulge yourself too much? Devote more attention to your health? And although you are physically beautiful, don't rest on your laurels. Work on that physical beauty, improve it, and say to yourself, I give my body the gift of loving attention. It gives me the gift of life energy, joy in living, and in health. Well, I've got to say, that seems to me to be a really great set of cards for you. Well done you. Well, I told you that was going to be a very interesting deck, didn't I? And I think you'll agree with me that it was. I hope that you enjoyed the artwork as much as I did. And I hope that you enjoyed the reading as much as I did providing it to you. And if you did and you've made it this far, can you do me the great favor of, on the way out, hitting the like button and the subscribe button because it's good for the YouTube computer. You understand what I mean? But look, it's been wonderful to see you again. I hope to see you again next month, of course, unless I see you privately in between. But until then, remember one thing, and it is this, that you are a legend. And I look forward to seeing you again next month. And until then, it's bye for now.